Many years ago, Kicker introduced a revolutionary design to subwoofers. They literally broke the mold of circular speakers and created the world's first square sub, the Kicker L7. Now currently there are four models in the L7 lineup, but today we're going to be taking a look at one of the more popular lines, the L7S. So hang out with us as we explore what these subwoofers can do. Hey, what's up? I'm Josh with Breakers Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews the latest in aftermarket auto accessories like car audio, suspension, performance, and more because we don't drive stock. That's right, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Not only is Kicker one of the most recognizable car audio brands on the market, they're responsible for creating some innovative products and design features with the L7 being the pinnacle of their innovations. Now, currently there are four series of L7 woofers in the 2022 lineup with the soon to be released Solo X or L7X. Then these, which are the L7Ss, there's also an L7R and the shallow woofer, the L7T. Now we chose to do a detailed review on this line because these are our most popular L7s in our store. And for these three reasons, price, the amount of bass they produce, and finally, their reliability. So in this review, we'll be taking a look at the specs and features straight off Kicker's website for those who would rather watch than read, and then we'll head out to test these in a vehicle. And then finally, we'll give you our overall rating along with our overall thoughts on this line of subwoofers. Okay, let's jump into it. These are available in eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, and 15 inch, in either dual two or dual four ohms. The 8s handle 450 watts RMS, 900 watts peak. The 10s are 600 watts RMS, 1200 watts peak. The 12s are 750 RMS, 1500 watts peak. And the 15s are 1000 watts RMS, 2000 watts peak. As far as boxes are concerned, you can either do a sealed or ported. Now we at Breakers always recommend a ported box for these subs if you want the most output because that's where you're gonna get the best performance out of these subs with increased output and better low frequency extension. Now here are some of the features that these subs have to offer. Injected molded polypropylene cones. The patent corner ribs minimize distortion. The Solocon 360 degree back bracing. The ribs soundoprene surround with blue surround stitching. Perimeter venting for excellent thermal management. A large ceramic magnet, cast aluminum basket, and satin nickel plated spring loaded speaker terminals. All right, so let's unbox one of these guys real quick. This is the 10 inch subwoofer. You have the manual, I hook you up with a sticker. And this woofer is, it's rock solid, man. This thing is heavy, nice magnet on the back, nice and solid connections here for voice call one, voice call two. So you have the logo here at the top, the kicker logo, lots of detail on the outside here. S logo in the center stands for Solo Barrack. The cone is very rigid. It has this design that keeps it very stiff so that you're not gonna get any type of warping when this woofer is going. You've got vents here on the side that's going to cool that voice coil down while you're pumping this thing. This thing's really reliable, love these things. And as you can see, the leads are nice and solid as well. Obviously, it's got a unique basket here. So we've got some nice design elements. It looks really nice and slick. Let's go ahead and check these out. So we're going to start with a couple of different songs. I'm trying to get the best SPL reading out of this as I can. So I'm going to play some deep bass music. All right, so we got 138.2. That's pretty good for a single 12 in a ported box. On this particular song, you had frequencies around 40-ish, actually dropped down to about 30, so the woofer did really good handling those lower frequencies because it is a ported box and it is tuned to about 35 hertz. It's gonna perform very well at those frequencies. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to some other music, music that people would actually listen to on a daily or regular basis. And we're gonna kind of go around the horn, we'll do some country, we'll do some rock, and of course we'll do some rap, some hip hop as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start with some country music. Okay, we'll start with this Luke Combs song. And this doesn't have as deep a bass as let's say some rap music. 
Uh, but there is some debasing here, and it's going to be around that 50 60 range. And we'll just see how this woofer performs in this frequency range. With its bigger Alright, so as you saw, this song has lots of frequencies in that 50 to 60 hertz range, and it performed actually very well. Alright, so I'm gonna take you guys back a little bit. We'll do a little Metallica, Enter Sandman, classic metal song here. Alright, so this song is a little tricky. You do have some deep bass in this song, but there are also some snappy bass as well. Now that snappy bass is there, but these woofers aren't picking up on it too much. You can hear that really deep bass that's more predominant, but that's gonna be typical for a box that's tuned this low, around 35 hertz or so. And that's gonna be typical for a box tuned in that lower 30 range. Okay, so let's go and check out another song. All right, so for our last song, we're gonna do a little bit of Mike Jones. I'm gonna take you guys back to 2005. This song does have uh, some nice deep bass in it. All right, so let's go and check this one out. Okay, so this woofer does extremely well in a ported box with this song. You get a lot of really deep bass in that 40 hertz range, even below. It picks up on the bass. Everything here is vibrating. It's solid. It doesn't fall on its face. You know, it's able to handle those really low deep bass notes. If you listen to music that has really deep bass notes, this woofer will do extremely well. And a vented enclosure, you will not be disappointed with the performance. All right, so let's go back inside and wrap this thing up. Now there's lots of engineering and experience behind making these subwoofers. The finish on these products are excellent compared to many woofers out there. Well-rounded and built to last. One of our favorite woofers at Breaker Stereo and Performance. If you decide on going with these woofers, you will not be disappointed. Okay, so I'm gonna give these woofers a four and a half star based on their performance and also the craftsmanship and the attention to detail that these woofers bring to the table. To purchase these woofers, there are links in the description below taking you directly to our website. Now remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, that's going to do it. My name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo at Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.